Okay, thanks. How are you all today? I love the show. Great, thank you so much. Good. How are you? You all have great chemistry on this show. So can you share how you all connected with each other and the rest of the cast? Well, yeah. I mean, oh, <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Natural. I mean, I mean, these two are just so fun to work with, and and it was it was very natural to build a twin twinish dynamic with Noah. And and as soon as Michaela came to set, it was just it was sparks, and we all connected. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially when you're comfortable with people for so long, and you get to play with scenes and and improvise, and and even though they're emotionally daunting. Yeah. The, the family dynamic is definitely uh, shown on screen very well because, I mean, we are actually like that when the camera's not rolling. Um, and, you know, me and him are the twin brothers and Michaela plays her part as a big sister very well. <laughs> and then Joy, who plays her mom as well. It was like, it was instant, like, love with her as well. She was so warm and the whole family just came together. They fell together perfectly. <laughs> I love the chemistry of you all together. And Michaela, your character does fencing and sword fighting on the show. So I was wondering if you can share the training process. Yeah, yeah. So I started um, training in Vancouver uh, not very soon before we started filming. So it was like uh, there was this big there's this big scene where I am fencing with a tree. And it was kind of like a tricky thing that we had to figure out. So they were like, you got to get into training, girl. So <laughs> I got to a fencing sal. And um, train was like this amazing master who was like trained people who've gone on to like the junior Olympics and stuff. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I've never done anything like it, but now it's a skill that I have. And I think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> it was really good. And this show deals with mental health. And I found myself relating a bit to Jared's felt. So I was wondering if you could share about why it's important to have shows open up about mental health and how you all felt about the aspect of this storyline. Yeah, mental health is something that's so personal and and um, important to me, and and I really really wanted to respectfully portray it. Um, and and uh, he 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 yeah he does go through so much. He's he feels kind of like a scapegoat um, in some sense, and I I'm just so glad that um I can we can integrate these these very serious issue issues that are very prevalent in today's um, generation. Uh, you know, a lot of teenagers my age suffer from serious mental health issues, and and um, to put that into a magical setting is 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 brilliant and beautiful, and that's why I think it separates Spiderwick from any other fantasy project. Yeah, I mean, it works so well, like Lion said, because you know it's realistic problems that people have. It's just in this you know magical world, and the re representation is is a hundred percent there, and. You know, there's somebody's always going to be going through something, but you know, the show definitely shows that no matter what, your family's always there for you. Yeah, I found it very relatable to myself and my own stuff. And I was wondering if you met the tiny fairy sprite, would you keep it as a pet, be its friend, or kill it in real life? <laughs> I would, I would keep it and it would be my best friend. I would like carry it. Well, I guess they can fly. So I feel like I would, I would love that. It'd be my little buddy always. Oh, I wouldn't kill it. I, I remember one time uh, I was at school and there was this caterpillar that I didn't even know was on me and I took it home and then I, you know, I'm like, God, this is so cool. So I kept it and then it died. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it died. But I tried my best to, to take care of it. But um, no, I wouldn't, I would, I would, I mean, come on, if I find like a, dragon on the ground or something of course yeah I was gonna say nobody else is gonna have that you gotta keep it I mean yeah the worst you can do is sell it on eBay don't uh, do that that's the worst you can do but I keep it yeah I'm a vegetarian myself well I love chatting with you all I really hope we get a season two and I can't wait for everyone else to see the show have a great rest of your day and I'm just looking forward for your future projects thank you so much it was great chatting with you thank you this town is full of stories. Allow me to be your guide through the fantastical world around you. Welcome to Spiderwick. It's my fault we had to move here. You've been going through a hard time for a while now. And we both know it's not getting better. Once we clean this house up, this will be great. 
And I know we can all use a fresh start. <laughs> Lucinda is my favorite person ever. Remember the lessons I taught you? It's full of secrets and surprises. My father cataloged each and every creature of the invisible world. The pages are in hidden vaults all over Henson. The Grace family is coming. Arthur Spiderwick's field guide will soon be ours. Ogaret's a deceiver, a shapeshifter. The world would be a better place without humans. Find the pages. Put Spiderwick's field guide back together. You have to help save everyone. I'm just a kid. That's why you can succeed. We want something more. I'm an ogre. I want everything more. I can't trust anyone. A reckoning is coming. You must be ready for the coming fight. Having someone believe in you is the most powerful form of magic there is. Well, I'm so glad you came.